Did you know your genes can set your cholesterol levels? That's right, science has shown that our genetic makeup can significantly influence our cholesterol levels, predisposing some of us to high cholesterol right from birth. This is largely due to the concept of genetic predisposition, a sort of genetic blueprint that can determine various aspects of our health, including cholesterol levels. One particularly notable example of this is familial hypercholesterolemia, or FH for short. FH is a genetic disorder that directly affects how our bodies metabolize cholesterol. It's like a glitch in the system, a tiny error in our genetic code that can have a big impact on our health. So, just as you inherit your eye color or hair type from your parents, you could also inherit high cholesterol. So it's clear that your cholesterol levels can be significantly influenced by your genes. Let's delve deeper into familial hypercholesterolemia, or FH. How does it affect cholesterol levels? Well, FH is an inherited condition that's triggered by mutations in specific genes, namely LDLR, APOB, and PCSK9. These genes regulate low-density lipoprotein, or LDL cholesterol, and when they go rogue, they can cause exceptionally high LDL cholesterol levels. Now, why should we worry about FH? Individuals living with this condition are at a higher risk of developing premature cardiovascular disease. The elevated LDL cholesterol can lead to early onset of atherosclerotic plaques in arteries, which significantly increases the risk of heart attacks and strokes. Let's talk numbers for a moment. FH affects about one in every 250 people worldwide. It's a dominantly inherited condition, meaning if one parent has FH, a child has a 50% chance of inheriting this disorder. If both parents have FH, the risk to their children are even greater. This makes it evident that FH is a serious genetic disorder that can greatly elevate cholesterol levels. So what can be done if you have FH? How can it be managed? Firstly, routine cholesterol screening and genetic testing are vital. They help in the early detection of FH, especially for those with a family history of high cholesterol or heart disease. But having FH doesn't mean the end of the world. Taking steps towards healthy lifestyle changes can make a significant difference. This includes a diet low in saturated fats and cholesterol, regular exercise, and avoiding tobacco smoke. Along with these lifestyle modifications, medications like statins are used to lower LDL cholesterol levels in individuals with FH. In severe cases, additional treatments may be necessary. LDL apheresis, a procedure to filter LDL cholesterol from the blood, is one such treatment. It's a bit like a dialysis session, but specifically for cholesterol. Therefore, early detection and proactive management are key to mitigating the risks associated with FH.